this is 9-11. You know, 9-11 holds a big history when those planes uh, flew into the Twin Towers and caused that destruction, attacked our, our nation with that hatred and, and killed innocent people. It was horrible. And, 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 and you know, 9-11 is my dad. My dad would be 90. He's passed on now. He'd be 94 uh, today. His birthday is on September 11th today. And it, it holds a special meaning as, as his birthday. It holds a special meaning because I understand that attack on us as Americans. But, you know, also in September 11th, 1875, in South Carolina, they had a convention where they disenfranchised the black voter. Different, you know, everything. Hey, you know, like, you know, had a convention. You can't sue, can't testify in court, can't vote. Now, here are the things that when you look at that, and when and, and if you go and study that history in that period of time, you know, because this is after the plan of the slaves, after the Civil War, and all this type of stuff, after Reconstruction, and you can see this installation of this voter suppression, of this white supremacy, and they're saying it. It's on my page. You can look at it. I mean, they're not trying to be with some little cover-up words. It's coming straight out. You know, this is straight out language. We taking the vote from the black people, period. Because, you know, at that time in South Carolina, black people made up the majority of the population. So if, 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 if you let them have the franchise, well, they're the majority of the population. So what do we need to do with vote? We got to understand that these voter suppression tactics and these voter suppression strategies and the reason why people are not passionate about voting today comes way back from 1875 or before that when you tried to vote or register to vote, boy, you were going to be met with some intense violence from the government or government supported actors supported by the state's attorney. People killed. State's attorney wouldn't prosecute a person for stuff like that. And so you fast forward to 2020. And we're hearing pretty much the same lingo from the government now. But thank goodness we have a state's attorney in Lake County like Mike Nearheim that's not going for that. That's not racist. That's not trying to uphold this white supremacist ideal. The, these voting policies that are designed to suppress. So that's how we get excited. We go back and read that history. And when you read that history, you're going to say, oh, my goodness, I thought 9-11 was the Twin Towers. Oh, no, we got some other 9-11s back there, 1875. I'm a guy, you know, married over 40, you know, 43 years, uh, three adult children, 14 grandchildren. And...